Guys, Matt Gunnison here, Body Belief Journey Day 11. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this video, we're going to talk about affirmations. Do they help you lose weight? Interesting idea. Because it's not like you're just going to say a bunch of words out of your mouth and all of a sudden the pounds are going to drop off, right? But it's about changing your overall mental health, uh, your inner world. You know, your inner world reflects your outer world. So what's going on in your unconscious mind is affecting what you do consciously and unconsciously and what you do consciously uh excuse me what you do unconsciously is a, a ultimately affecting your results and so if you're overweight it's uh a lot of times because um you have some kind of self image of how you see yourself and because you see yourself a certain way you're going to behave in a certain way and then ultimately you have results that show up in the way of how you see yourself. So um, affirmations, do they help? Well, here's, here's the problem with traditional affirmations is what we talk about in body belief. Uh, you say an affirmation like, I am lovable, right? And if you don't actually believe that, right, then basically there's like this little inner war going on. And you're like saying, well, no, I'm not lovable. Look at all this evidence for how unlovable I am. I'm not unlovable. You say, I'm lovable. I'm lovable. I'm lovable. And you keep saying it, but ultimately you have like this little inner conflict going on. So uh, what we're saying here is addressing your mind like it's like Google. Okay. It's a very powerful apparatus. It's uh, like a calculator, right? You know, calculator, you just type in, you may not know the answer, right? But you type in, you know, 362 times 64 and then boom. Calculator will come up with an answer like that. Well, your unconscious mind is actually very similar to that. Uh, your unconscious mind is, like I said, steering the actions. And, um, you know, the conscious mind is telling it what to do. So, the, But the unconscious mind can't tell the difference between what's real and imagined. Can't tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined. And so... What you're essentially wanting to do is you're wanting to program your mind. Uh, you're programming, pro programming this very powerful calculator, this unconscious mind, uh, which is very smart in some ways, but very dumb in others, right? It's smart in the fact that you can type in 362 times 62, and it'll come up with the answer like that. But it's dumb in the sense that it just behaves according to what the conscious mind tells it to do. Okay? so. If the conscious mind is saying, I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm unlovable, I'm unlovable, the unconscious mind says, yep, okay, if that's what you're telling me to do, I'm going to go ahead and just manifest this for you. Evidence that you are all these things. So, getting back to affirmations, rather than just saying affirmations like, I'm lovable, and saying that over and over again, why not ask it in the form of a question? Like imagine like your mind is like Google. And if you type in a question into Google, like uh, uh, how many kilograms are in a pound, Google is going to come up with the answer for you. So try to think of it that way. So if you say an affirmation, instead of saying it as a statement, say it as a question. Like, what do I love about myself? Now, when you ask it in the form of a question, your unconscious mind is going to come up with an answer for you, okay? It's going to find something to love about yourself. And like I said, that might be the best place to start because, you know, you might uh, not have body issues. You may have no problems with your body whatsoever like me. I don't have any body issues, okay? But if you're someone who has real deep, like, body issues, like how you see yourself, and you just, you can't stand the way you see, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you can't stand to see what you see. This is a good place to start. And that's why in Body Belief, we focus on all aspects, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, because um, it's different for everybody, okay? Uh, some people, they just need to change a few things in their diet. And some people, they just need the proper motivation to actually get off their ass and actually do the exercises that are going to actually make the difference. I'm talking exercises like push-ups and pull-ups and dips and stuff like that, okay? Uh because, like I said, affirmations are just a start, okay? They're laying the groundwork. So that basically what we want is for you to just love yourself, accept yourself, 
appreciate yourself exactly as you are, okay? And then from there, create goals. So it's not like goals about, you know, gosh, I want to fix myself. I just can't stand the way I look. I'm going to fix myself. Carl Jung said, that which we resist persists. So if we keep having this resistant type weighing, way of being about ourselves, ugh, I can't stand it. Ugh, I can't stand the way I look. Got to fix me. Ugh, 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 ugh. Well, you could lose weight doing it that way, right? It's like sure willpower though, right? And why not just have it natural? A little more natural. Just, I'm okay. I'm okay the way I am. I love myself just as I am. But you know, what? something I've always wanted to do is, you know, whatever. Climb the mount, mountain that's near my house. And I've always wanted to have the kind of body that it, that it would take to actually accomplish that goal. See, it has nothing to do with fixing yourself. And so that's where we start. That's why affirmations are important. And like I said, we do it in the form of a question. You know, why am I so lovable? What do I love about myself? You know, why am I such a great mom or dad or husband? So you're going to find the answers for this. And as you say this stuff to yourself in the mirror, you get to look yourself in the eyes. And it's about programming. None of this is true, right? It's all a story. It's all a made-up story because that's what your mind does. Things just are the way they are. But what happens is, the way we're set up is we see something and we make up an interpretation of that based upon what we see. And then our interpretation over enough time leads to a story. So we just say, well, that's just the way it is. You know, my husband is just the way he is. My wife is just the way she is. My sister is just the way she is. Why? Because based on the past, all this past interpretations that I have, this is my story about the way things are. So the same thing is true with your body. You come up with a story about your body based on the past, based on the interpreted past of how you interpreted things. And this is how we kind of get stuck. We say, you know, it's, it's kind of like uh, fleas. They put them in a jar, okay? And what happens is when the fleas are first in the jar, they will jump and they will hit their head on the top of the lid of the jar. They could jump out of the jar, right? But after enough times of hitting their head, they finally just jump just short of the lid. And so they stop jumping as high. And then what happens when you take the lid off, interestingly enough, is they still only continue to jump just shy of the lid because they've trained themselves that way. So they think that only what is possible is what they, you know, they only think a certain way of jumping is possible. They can only jump so far when in fact they could just jump right out of the jar. Right? So isn't that interesting? Well, we're no different, really. We think what's possible. We think this is what's possible, but the truth is, we are far more capable than what we think we are capable of. So that's why affirmations are, are powerful in helping you take off the jar lid to what's possible, to what you can create for yourself. Remember, you have a dream body in mind. You have a visualized body in mind. You can create that body. Okay, Anything is possible. Just remember that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember, this is Body Belief Journey Day 11, 30-day journey. Follow me on my journey. Subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, please like it, comment, share, and I look forward to seeing you on day 12. Take care.